good day mateys bill the asian pirate welcome to the channel uh, i know it's been a while since i've posted a video but honestly covid has still been keeping me pretty busy uh, but i got a great video for you guys today uh, i am taking a little mini vacation i haven't had a vacation in almost five years uh, so this is very exciting for me i am driving to orlando florida to go to uh Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios, yeah. So, um, I left this morning from the Fort Myers area around uh, 9.30 this morning. Uh, estimated travel time is about three hours. And I should be getting there uh, early afternoon, which uh, and then I'll try to find some lunch before I check into the hotel. So, uh, why don't you guys hang out with me, and uh, we'll have a good show, and uh, thanks for joining me. What's up mates, Bill, the Asian Pirate, I'm back and uh, had to take a little potty break so I stopped at the Burger King in Fort Meade, Florida. Um, I hadn't seen a lot of quirky on State Road 17 but I thought I would share this one with you. In all my years I've never seen a Whopper come out of the side of a Burger King before. Uh, this is a new construction Burger King and my brother's a manager for Burger King and uh, I'm sure he'll find that interesting but yeah. I wonder how that Whopper ended up in the building. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm about an hour and a half away from Orlando now, so I'm gonna try to make some time on the road here. Got myself a little milky shake, a little strawberry milkshake action. All right, let's go. Highway 27. There's a lot of development going on out here since the last time I was here. But yeah, I am about uh, 30 minutes away from Universal. And uh, it'd be a lot faster if it wasn't for this traffic congestion. But uh, this is typical for Orlando, so. What's up, everyone? Bill the Asian Pirate. I just got into International Drive, and there's where I'm going to be staying for tonight. It's the M Endless Summer Resort by Universal Studios. Uh, looks like they're on both sides of the road. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to. On the other side is the other part of Endless Summer Resort. So I'm still a little early. I can't check in for another couple hours. So I'm going to scope out the area. And then I'm going to try to find this Mexican restaurant that I uh, liked a few years ago. Well, I find my uh, favorite Mexican restaurant here in Orlando. Unfortunately, since the five years I've been here, uh, they've gotten rid of the buffet. But the menu looks pretty good, and I think I know what I'm going to get. As Eric said, on Nomadic Fanatic, it's delicious. You wouldn't like it. So I ordered a taco, a chili relleno, and a burrito for lunch today. It looks delicious. Finally made it guys. I am at the hotel at the Dockside Resort. Uh, for those of you familiar with Orlando, this used to be where Wet n Wild was. Until they tore it down. And here we go. Looks like we got a little closet here with a safe. And this door here should be the toilet and shower facility. There we go. Look at that. That's a decent sized shower. And a toilet. Nice. Okay, let's go into the proper room. They actually put the sink separately, which is a nice touch. 
so that people can do their preparations while someone's taking a shower. Very cool. This is the room. Very beach themed, guys. Welcome to Florida. I got two queen beds in here. Sadly, I'm by myself. I like the, the decor. That's nice. Shiplap on the walls. Some beachy themes. I love the lights over the, t over the bed. That's cool. Um, nice little wall art and a TV. Wicker chair. I didn't pay for the upgraded view because I don't really care about that, but I'm on the 10th floor. There's beautiful Orlando, Florida, guys. Beautiful. All right, so next order of business is to go back to my car and bring my luggage up. I just brought my uh, small stuff with me on the first trip. The only downside that I have to this resort is parking is a little bit away from the door and there are no luggage carts here, maybe in the main lobby, but not in the separate towers, which is a bummer. So I've got a heavy suitcase and I have to lug up here. So I'll get back with you guys later. All right, so I got myself settled at the hotel. And I went and got myself a little cocktail. And I'm just chilling at the pool before festivities tonight. This is the view from the pool. Very cool. It's the building up there. So it's kind of like a weird U-shaped building. All right, so I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, maybe take a dip. And then I'm going to relax and get dinner and then get ready for tonight's show at Universal Studios. So I'm going to stop this video right here. I'm going to do part two, uh, picking up after this. It's going to be a long video. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up to uh, like my channel and share this video with others. And I will see you guys in part two of my vacation. This is the Asian Pirate. Live long and prosper. And that's it for this episode of The Asian Pirate. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to receive future notifications, and give this video a thumbs up so others can find it as well. This is The Asian Pirate. Live long and prosper.